Welcome to our tech troubleshooting video. Today we're tackling a frustrating issue that many .NET developers encounter. Our viewer is facing a runtime error related to assembly loading. Let's dive into the details of their situation. Welcome to another tech video. Today we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Guys, remember to stay a little bit crazy, like me, and hopefully get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on to that video. The error you're encountering indicates a version mismatch with the system.componentmodel.annotations assembly. Specifically, your project is looking for version 4.1 byte zero, but you have version 4.30 installed. To resolve this issue, you can use a binding redirect in your .NET Framework project. This will instruct the runtime to use the newer version of the assembly instead of the one it is trying to load. Make sure to add this binding redirect in the app.config file of your .NET Framework test project. This will help the runtime locate the correct version of the assembly. After adding the binding redirect, rebuild your project and run your tests again. This should resolve the runtime error you were experiencing. If you still encounter issues, ensure that all projects in your solution are referencing compatible versions of the system component model .annotations package. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To resolve the issue with loading the system.componentmodel.annotations assembly, ensure you use a proper binding redirect. Remember to include this redirect in your deployed web.config file, not just in your development environment. For the NuGet package system.componentmodel.annotations version 5.0, the binding redirect should look like this. It redirects old versions to 4.2.1.0. Note that the version 4.2.1.0 is shown under properties, while 5.0 is the version of the NuGet package you are using. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To resolve the issue of not loading the system.componentmodel.annotations assembly, you can use assembly redirection. Simply call the redirect assembly method at the start of your program. Here's how the assembly resolver works. It orders the loaded assemblies and sets up an event to handle assembly resolution. In the assembly resolve method, it attempts to load the requested assembly and handles any exceptions that may occur. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To resolve the issue with loading the system.componentmodel.annotations assembly, simply install the same version across all your projects.
let's now look at another user suggested answer. To resolve the issue with loading the system.componentmodel.annotations assembly, you need to add a specific configuration to your web or app config file. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. This user found that none of the common solutions worked for them. They resolved the issue by manually adding a reference to system.componentmodel data annotations through the project references instead of using the quick fix option in Visual Studio. I hope that video helped get through to the resolution that you're looking for. If it did, please hit subscribe. I really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a great one. Cheers.